About a year ago, I ran this test to see if uh, my tap water was going to be better, the same, or whatever as store-bought water. Essentially just a water chemistry test in a minor way. Um, in that video, I talked about the differences between you know, your tap water and how to get it adjusted or how to figure out what you need to adjust, and I'll link that video there. But we are gonna taste the fruits of that video a year later. Now, that video didn't come out a year ago exactly, but these meads were created a year ago. So, uh, on my right side, we have a tap water right here. And on my left side, we have the spring water. Essentially, these are mango honey meads with the two various types of water. One is more carbonated than the other, which is interesting. Okay, they are cold. We'll have to go and pour them. Right here is the, yeah, that's carbonated. That's fun. I didn't back sweeten or anything. Tap water, spring water, not nearly as carbonated. They both fermented dry, 1.000. Um, obviously this one had a little bit of, I don't know, I, I, I'm pretty good at reading a hydrometer. So for this to have carbonation is interesting. Anyways, let's start with, since um, probably give this one some time to lose a little bit of that carbonation. Let's go and try the spring water version. Slight carbonation, rich, um, fruity honey. Still has a little yeastiness in there. These are about 9%, but that honey is incredible. Man, that mango honey is awesome. It does have a little bit of that apparent yeasty side. Sorry, I'm trying to um, kill some of the carbonation on this guy. I mean, it smells really nice and smooth. Interesting. Okay, well, flip to the other side. Here is the carbonated version. <laughs> carbonated and tap water version, which in the video, spoilers, we preferred, I say we, cause it wasn't just me tasting it. We preferred the um, tap water version. So we'll see if that holds up, holds true. I feel like the noses are pretty similar, but it is cold. Oh, interesting, okay. There definitely is a little bit more of a mineral character coming from the tap water version. You get a little more, it's like it's viscous on the body and it does have that, I mean, you can taste minerals. That's kind of what, tasting water is like. The carbonation does add to the body, but you can tell that it's not just carbonation. It's got minerality to it. Honey-wise, character-wise, it feels almost the exact same. I feel like taste difference is here. Um, I don't necessarily now notice any extra perceived sweetness or anything like that. It is very good. This is, I'll say this. With the carbonation, I do prefer a little bit of carbonation here. This is very crushable. Like I could polish off this whole bottle, easy money. The carbonation, I think, would help the uh, spring water version if it were more carbonated. But they're both very good. I will note, minerality coming from the tap water, in my tap water, um, is definitely apparent. This is a little more flat. Spring water has a little more flat side to it. Doesn't have as much of that minerality as we're talking about. I wonder if, like, the honey character is not playing as well because there, there is that lack of minerality in that fermentation. Obviously, that's part of it, too. Uh, yeast are looking to be healthy, so they look at your water as well. So whatever's in the water can help it then be uh, healthy in their fermentation. So maybe those mineral contents were actually providing extra things to have them be more healthy. I don't really get any perceived, even with this being way more carbonated than I thought, I don't get any um, yeastiness coming from the tap water. Man, this is crushable though. It's dry, crushable. Whew. I still prefer tap water, I'll say that. And, um, I don't know, I'm still gonna use my tap water for a while. Maybe not every project, but it's worth trying. I recommend you go and get a water profile check if you can. Uh, try your tap water, do a test like this. You might be surprised if you like using your tap water for things. It might be great, it might be terrible. You know, just go get it checked out. But I hope this has been fun. If you wanna watch the original video, it'll be linked below. And yeah, let me know Let me know what you want me to taste. Uh, I obviously do a lot of videos. This is the extras channel, so you can find everything on the main channel the main test at least, and uh, I do tastings and stuff here. So, thank you for watching. I got more stuff coming up. I'm actually about to taste something else for more content on the channel, and uh, I'll see you then. Cheers.